Ah, the glorious Rainbow Bridge. An absolute eyesore! It's not that bad. I mean, yeah, it can cause light vertigo, but it's not bad. Like I said, eyesore. Regardless, what's up, Manga Knights? It is the Cyber King and his lowly assistant. Um, excuse me, who runs this channel again? <laughs> anyway, last time we ended up in hell. Not HD double hockey sticks, but Norse hell. We made it through, beat up Surtur. And, well, it's weird for me to say, but we might have actually saved Asgore. Not Asgore, this ain't Undertale. Asgard! Whatever! Let's get moving! This bridge is very long. Now, onward to Asgard, before Hela can... Oh boy. Are these rockets? I, I think so. They're majorly deadly. Who the hell did Hella team up with? I don't know. I remember in the movie where she was introduced, she tried taking over Asgard. We must find more Odin at once. There's a new king in town, Blondie, and we have direct orders to make you kneel. Oh no! It's Hydra! We're dealing with the Red Skull! This is Captain America's greatest enemy, and the ironic thing is... They're Nazis! We are dealing with the Red Skull. Like, the Red Skull. That dude is messed up! Also, how dare that soldier call Valkyrie Blondie? That's honestly just disrespectful. Didn't think you'd say that. Just cause I'm a little maniacal doesn't mean I don't respect women. We're definitely gonna be ending this. It seems like these Asgardian soldiers are still fighting. Even when faced with what's pretty much overwhelming adversity. I mean, Hydra, they are like super bad. I would definitely not want to team up with them. Open those gates, damn you! I didn't remember us fighting in here, but... <laughs> You're literally hitting him outside of the wall! I know, I know, it's funny. We shan't let be the... the what the heck were you even trying to say? I don't know. Don't you even feel a little bad? What do you mean? You're killing people! 
Like, it's not even that we're fighting monsters anymore. We're literally fighting people. I felt the same way when dealing with the AIM soldiers. Well, I guess for you it'd be a little weird being a digital being at all. Yeah, I guess this is technically bad. But to us, this is nothing but a game. Another reason why humans disgust me. Look, what do you expect? Who the hell is going to know that there's some kind of sentient AI or whatever? I am a piece of digital code, thank you. Well, uh, yeah, whatever. Who is supposed to figure out that that's even a thing? No one knows this. So no one cares. Not even the coders. They're just making things that people like doing. That's freaking ridiculous. Ooh, we got rockets! What happened to being pissed? I'm better when I blow things up! Take a missile with it! Oh, they're gone. Yeah, that's a thing that happens. They don't want you cheesing this. Wait, but there's missiles right here! I know. Pretty good, huh? These missiles are tough. There's only two of them! That's not fair! It actually kind of is. They don't want us absolutely wiping things. That might ruin everything. What do you mean it would ruin everything? Oh, uh, it's another whole game thing, code and whatnot. That I at least somewhat understand. Got two left. Let's go. Yes. I like demons, you like God. That's a little ironic. So you're saying you'll burn a sacred city? That's a little screwed up! Okay, we took care of all the enemies. Now, where is this alternate entrance? Oh, it's this way. Really? It's just out in the open? It's a little stupid, but at least we're able to move on. When I was a boy, I used these tunnels to flee the palace and escape my father's wrath. We will be lucky to escape them with our lives, Odinson. <laughs> then nothing has changed in all these centuries. You sure nothing changed, Thor? I have a feeling there's gonna be something. You must be close to something. Oh yeah! We didn't end up finding a thing in hell. I guess we missed it. I'm gonna ignore it though. What? But your entire thing for this is that you were gonna do as many as possible. Well, I've changed that to as many as I want. I want to get this game done with at this point. Finally! Back to beating something that's not entirely human! Sure we will. In due time. Oh, we didn't have to free them. Yet you were, right? The only ones that deserve to be in prison are those that deserve it.
So we're dealing with Hydra and the Undead. Is it just me, or are these guys less trouble when they're out of their own realm? Sweet freedom is yours, my friends. Regain your strength and prepare yourselves for the battle to come. The more people you rescue, the easier each of these battles will get. And I love that. We're reaching a corridor. I don't suppose this is a rescue mission. But if you let me out, I promise I shall be here. Why would we even think of releasing you, Loki? Perhaps since I'm the only one who really knows what's going on here. Because I planned it all. What kind of master plan ends up with you locked away in Asgard's dungeon? What are you talking about? I first witnessed their might in the hands of the king, and, as you might be recall, I sought my own in the dark to the Knowing you'd need many more for the battle to come, I drafted Hydra together. And they double-crossed you and took over Asgard instead. That's despicable! I don't trust this weirdo. Are you kidding? You let Loki out of his cell? No way that Slater's walking free on our watch. Well, what things I do to you do? Who are they? Loki is the arcane god of trips. I don't trust him. Neither do I. Not really, but at the moment, we need every ally we can get. You need more than that. You need the power of the crystals if you hope to tip the scales in your favor. Then where is the ISO 8 the Jedi's ice the Hydra collect? Ugh, I think I have a bug. Ah, uh, yes. Well, that would be the next problem. It's in the throne room. Is there any chance you mean Odin? I fear not, which is why I fear for us all. Perhaps we should consider an alternative path after all. I know a dark elf in Svartalfheim who... No, you got Asgard into this mess, Loki. It's up to you to help us get out of it. <sighs> oh, the price I pay to be a hero. Too bad we don't get the, uh big guy, because he's honestly pretty tough. Whatever. Let's keep moving. Allie, yeah. you! What are mortals even doing in the realm of Asgard? Were you not listening to Loki? He brought them in. They betrayed him, but but he really he betrayed them first. 
Well, that makes sense. The god of mischief isn't exactly one you can trust. Quite an arsenal, but it should not be enough to keep us from dethroning their false king. I can already tell you who that false king is. The Red Skull. Ding, ding, ding! Correct, dumbass! Hey. <laughs> Seriously, though, Red Skull is a pain. There's a certain frozen fighter, or previously frozen fighter, who knows very well what it's like to fight the Red Skull. You're talking about Captain America, aren't you? Bingo! Out of everyone that has ever fought anything, Red Skull is... Something different. And I don't like him. Hurry up, Nimnuts! Are our allies just stuck on a corner or something? Oh no, they're here. Finally! You're not going any further. Then the time has come to pay our respects to You're talking about yourself, aren't you, Loki? Clearly, he's not gonna let Asgore fall. You keep on wanting to say Asgore. I know, I know. Missiles, missiles, missiles galore. Time to blow everybody down to the floor. I just realized, why is your voice like that? Like what? All rasping. Uh, let's just say I'm not exactly in one condition. You mean one piece. Yes, yes. Regardless, I'm incomplete. So I kind of don't have much in the way of a voice. You're kind of stuck with me. Not really. I'm pretty good with machines. Really? I could make you a body, you know. You'd actually do that? On one condition. What is that? I will make you a body, including a new voice box, if, and only if, you agree to help me from now on. You're really doing this to me, aren't you? Yep. It's either this or be stuck with that raspy, annoying voice of yours. Fine! I'll help you from here on out. But don't put me on anything stupid! Got that? <laughs> you got it. I'll start work on things and you'll have your body in the next episode. Great! <laughs> You're another freak, Red Skull! Time to prevent him from conquering Asgard. So, 
I'm just going to come out and say it. Red Skull is an absolute jerk. I thought we were done with stones! Looks like Red Skull is not taking any damage. We might be stuck here. Let's see what happens when we defeat all the enemies that he summoned. See if maybe they're tying his power. Now he can be hurt. Red Skull is nothing but a man. A shallow man, but a man nonetheless. So in order to beat this doofus, stop talking, please. All right, then. In order to beat this guy, we need to use the power of the Rainbow ISO 8. It will temporarily give us a power boost that we really need. And of course, Tella is in this fight. We are right behind. Huh. 
again, our revives are reset. So luckily, we can pound and pound and pound. We can pound and pound and pound until things go to the ground. <laughs> you can't silence the Cyber King, fool. Loki, shut your dog. Odin. <laughs> the only one that can take down the Destroyer is the creator of the Destroyer. <laughs> or do you think your father a complete fool? Certainly one of my sons does. But what father? I can explain. The uprising in Jotunheim. You insisted I quell it. Was not but a trap lain by treacherous frost giants, all of whom now lay slaughtered by my hand. After all I have done for you, Loki, I should cast you to the bottom of the Gananga Gap for this affront. Loki will earn his just reward in due time, old father. For now, there are more dire matters to which we must attend. I. The first of which is cleansing the stench of death from this place. <clears throat> Odin, I beg of you. I was merely a pawn in this scheme. No more than a puppet. As I recall, whenever there are puppets at play, it has always been Hela who pulls the strings. Stray from your realm again, Queen of the Dead, and your dread will be cut permanently. As you wish, my lord. The stones you seek are long gone from Midgard, yet their power is so strong. I can still feel them across the vastness of space. They have been taken by your foes to a way station on the outskirts of the universe. A place once teeming with life. Now being swallowed whole by the shadow of death. And the tyrant who would deliver it to us all. have left to survive the coming darkness lies in your hands alone. Won't you be joining us against the Black Order? I must rest and replenish the Olden Force if I am to undo the damage Hela has done here in Asgard. If Thanos has its way, then there won't be an Asgard to rebuild. Severity of these circumstances, mortal, and that all the Lord of Asgard cannot accompany you on your quest. We can offer you a different kind of aid. 
This ISO-8 seems to be supercharged. How did it get so powerful? Some of these rare crystals that Hela's allies amass were generated by the Bifrost itself, imbued with the cosmic power that courses through this realm. They can enhance your individual powers to their fullest potential as well. Let's hope it's enough! We can't afford to lose the battle to come. For the last time, would you stop talking? Your voice gets on my nerves. Well, as soon as you make that body, I'll shut up. Until then, la 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 la. <laughs> Next time on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order, we're going to prepare for the battle to come. Is that what I think it means? Nope. <laughs>